On this Mother's Day, hopefully, you called your mom or you gave her a card or maybe even bought her a present. If you're indie rock star Lucy Dacus, you did one better. You wrote her a song. My mother It's called My Mother and I, and Lucy Dacus joins me now. Welcome. Thanks for having me. So those are very powerful first lines. My mother hates her body. We share the same outline. She swears that she loves mine. Tell me about that. I think that a lot of women feel this. Um, It's taken a really long time for me to put words to it, but I have had conversations about this with friends forever about how as our mothers age, um, maybe they feel like they're falling out of beauty or losing what they've prioritized throughout their life, like their physical appearance. Or what others have prioritized for them. Right. And I I feel like my mother is beautiful and I'm also adopted. So I have two mothers and both of them are, are beautiful. And um, I just want them to see that when they, you know, say like that they're ugly, it can really fall back onto me like, oh, well, am I going to feel the same at their age and like I don't want to and I don't think that they're ugly it's a complex feeling and I've learned so many good things from them but it's one thing that mothers pass on that I think is really hurtful Hmm. you said before that your parents raised you with the idea that everything is chosen but in a way you don't choose the way you look right we have to embrace it I guess how do you sort of do that? How do you think about that? I try to think really specifically of what's coming up. Like, I know I'm going to go gray. My birth mother went gray at like 25. Really? Yeah, I'm going gray now and I love it. I actually don't dye my hair because I want to watch every single gray hair come in. Like, I feel like it's a silver medal for wisdom (laughs) or aging or something. Uh, And same for like the skin, you know, like just kind of softening. Um, I, I want to look forward to those things. And I think just seeing women who love themselves is super helpful. I always say like you have to see it to be it. So I just like to surround myself with women who are aging really gracefully and happily. Hmm. I mean, it does seem like as a as a woman and specifically I'm, I'm the mother of a young girl, you are constantly fighting with not passing those things on, the things that were bequeathed to you from your parents about the way you look and and what you see in the mirror. Um, Why did you want to write this now on Mother's Day? I mean, why did you want this to be the message? I feel like with most songs that I write, I start with something that's really hard or something that I don't understand. And by the end of the song, I have more of a handle on it or I've come out with an understanding and so I feel like the last lines of the song are where I landed the lines are um, all she has given, all I have taken all is forgiven, all is forsaken all she has given all I have taken all is forgiven So I'm trying to acknowledge like that my mom, both the one who gave birth to me and the one that raised me, like they both gave so much. And as a child, you don't even know that you're taking the good and the bad. So I'm trying to say thank you to both of them, like for the good and the bad. What did your mothers think about this song? It wasn't easy at first, and I actually haven't yet shown it to my birth mother because we are mostly friends like we don't see each other very often we're getting to know each other still we met when I was 19 Mm. but my mom that raised me I showed it to her and at first she thought that it must totally be about my birth mother and I don't think she wanted to take in um, or accept what I was saying or she just took it as a negative like the first line is pretty striking Mm -hmm. Um, And it it was specifically 
about her and I even now I'm kind of scared to put it out and I I feel like most of my songs are about me and this is the first time I've really put someone else's business at, at the front but I feel like it's our business and um, we've talked about it since and I think that she really appreciates kind of maybe the understanding that other daughters may get from this and not just daughters like children at all like very are very susceptible to body image they are um I, I guess when you say that this is the first time that you have put someone else's business out there, um, that must be kind of scary. It's so scary. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to do right by anybody that I'm going to speak for or about. But I, I do think it's important to look back to family and like see where I've come from and why I am who I am. And I think that's fair to anybody that's going to listen to me too. Like I want to give a full picture of myself. And of course that includes my mom. Well, because it's Mother's Day, is there a message that you want to give your mom? Um, I don't know. I, I love her. Love you, mom. And for anybody who doesn't feel good on Mother's Day, like that's also totally okay. And I hope the day passes uh, peacefully. Indeed. Lucy Dacus, her song is My Mother and I. Thank you so much. Thanks. Thanks.